sitting out. Um, we still have some quality kids coming back. Uh, I don't think you'd ever replace our senior class. They were, they were really special kids. I, I think we benefited from that, you know, leaving us with the kids that we were allowed to coach, so that, that really helped. But I think we have some experience coming back. And, uh, and we, need to, we need to be better because our scholarship our, um, schedule is pretty challenging, and that, I think that could fight us. You mentioned that just over sitting out, a bunch of your players have talked about the impact the transfers can have for you guys, in particular Kenny. What do you see from him? What can he do for this organization, for this program? Um, I think he can play. You know, he's a great kid. He wants to get better. You know, I'd be surprised if Jordan and Jimmy, you know, don't have an immediate impact on our team. They're going to have to, you know, because we lost Cannon and, you know, we lost Shanique and those kids. I don't think you could measure their value. So we're going to need some some people like like Jimmy and, and Jordan to step up. But they've both been well coached. And they both have t have had time to to adjust and be around here, and I I think we're going to be pretty pleased, you know, when they do have the opportunity to play. What do you think Nick can take away from this experience? Um, well, I think uh, you know I've been texting him back and forth, but all the things that I say, he heard from Coach Self. Uh, <laughs> And, and I think that was a good thing. You know, he reminded me of that in numerous text messages that he got the same message. So now he doesn't think I'm the only devil out, out there. <laughs> um, and then playing, a, you know, in such a high level competition, you know, has to help. I, I believe, you know, we have six more kids going away, you know, after su summer school. And, you know, that's, that's always a great experience playing against high level competition. But, uh, but the things that Bill values, I hope we would value here. And I think Nick, Nick saw that. When you see Emmanuel having success in summer league already and playing pretty well, do you have a similar type of pride as one of your former players is if you were watching some of the new coach as well there? Oh, I smile because all the people I told him to take first now are probably saying maybe that old guy does know something. <laughs> you know, I called everybody. Um, you know, and I, you, how can you fault, you know, the kids that went before him? They're all great, but. Um, you know, I felt if he w he was here, we might have won a national championship, and I was convinced he'd have a chance to be the first pick in the draft. Now that he went seven, I don't think it really matters. I think he's in a great situation, and you know, I'm just proud of him. I I think I think of him as one of our own. You know, when when he s decided to come here, he helped our program immediately. Just by giving us credibility and um, there was no doubt in my mind that he had a chance to be a star in the next level and I'm hopeful that happens. All of the seniors off of last year's team have gotten opportunities in the summer league to compete and perform. What have you heard about how they've been doing over the summer? Um, well, Yannick, I think, was invited back to the Clippers. Um, you know, there's a chance that he might go to Europe. He's had a lot of opportunities. I think Ryan um, played on San Antonio. He didn't get to play a lot, but at least he got that experience, and I'm hopeful that he'll have an opportunity overseas. Nick Russell co got moved up to the Division One in, in Germany. Sean's gotten a job. I think he's going to be a high school coach, which I'm thrilled. And Cannon's going to get numerous opportunities overseas, so that's, that's kind of fun.
So it's with all the craziness going on in the NBA with free agency and DeAndre Jordan, are you kind of glad to be removed from that, the NBA right now? No, I mean, that's the rule. You know, they got the sign at 12.01. You know, kids change their mind all the time. I feel bad for the Mavericks, but let's face it, the Clippers got him to the point where he's worth all that money. They had a lot invested in him. So why not keep trying? I, I, I would venture to guess everybody would have done the same thing. Um, you know, I'm a Dallas fan now because I'm in town and they got Matthews. Pachula is really underrated. They had a great draft, got a great coach, great owner. You know, you move on. But um, the league ought to think about changing the rule. You know, but I see college kids committing in football all the time and changing their mind. You know, and now the NBA, half the kids that are playing are like college-age kids. So it's something that, I, you know, you've got to be disappointed. But lo and behold, Darren Williams shows up. That's not bad. So Cuban said he thinks it's one of the stranger things he's seen happen in free agency. So would you disagree with him? No, I, I don't necessarily disagree, but I know a lot of these um, so-called players waiting for the 1201 to sign have already made up their mind, and there's a lot of reasons why, because people have done things to work behind the scenes, maybe with an agent or two. So before you blame anybody, you ought to look at yourself first. But the bottom line, the rule allows you that eight or nine day period to recruit players. So why would somebody be faulted for trying to keep their own? You know, to me, you know, it's unfortunate, but because Dallas is so resourceful and it's such a great place to, to play, they end up with Matthews and Pachula and Darren Williams. I mean, I'm probably missing a few, but I know, I know they'll bounce back. I know they'll be in good position to get better. They have, they have an opportunity to continue to grow. The Clippers, where would they be without Jordan? You know, they, they couldn't have recovered. You know, so why shouldn't they do everything they can to try to keep him? Terry, do you ever allow yourself uh, to look at the progress you've made over the years, the last couple of years with these guys? I, mean, I was talking to Marcus earlier, and he said, it's crazy, just the culture, the school, the way that the players are looked at on campus. Have you allowed yourself to think about progress the school has made since you arrived on campus here? Um, I can tell when I walk down Katy Trail. Um, <laughs> you know, people kind of recognize you. And the nicest thing is they talk about how proud they are about how our kids play and the way they represent the school and the pride they've taken, the fact that, you know, we've become kind of relevant. but. You know, this school has such potential. You know, when you're in a, a state with the Spurs and the Rockets and the Mavericks and you're in a city with Dallas, you know, and all their professional success, uh, it helps and there's so many great players around here. Uh, and this is such a great school, I think we all felt that the, the opportunity to be good was here if we did a good job. We still have a lot of work to do to get better. Um, but I think ha having the students, you know, excited about our team, I think is the most important thing so far for us. Coach, you, just, you, just, you decided to promote Jerry Hobby to full-time assistant coach. What went into that decision? Well, I mean, it's always great to reward people in your program that have been loyal and done a great job. I, you know, I'm sick about Yurik because uh, he was phenomenal. Um, but I, by moving Jerry up, it gave us a chance to reward everybody else. 
Jim Duncan and Sean Stout both had opportunities to go to other places to coach and uh, they wanted to stay here and we could kind of move people around in different positions. So, um, And when I got the job, Jerry, Jerry was the only one that kind of kept everything going after Matt left. Um, Jerry and, you know, Lil, our secretary, were the two people that, you know, allowed everybody to kind of hold the fort. And um, so it's nice when you, you know, I always laugh about coaching waiting. I'm, I'm so blessed to have Tim, but everybody that coaches with you is in waiting if you do a good job. And the best thing you can do for your program is to be able to re reward people that you're involved with. And that, that happened with Jerry and all the rest of them.